Okay, so to start off from module 9 in the last video, what we did was, just to recap, we went through and we took everything that had some engagement to it, and we went into our tool and reposted it. So let's just do one quickly to recap so that we're all on the same page here. So we'll go here into post details, and then what we're going to do is go to embed after we check and see, hey, did all these people like our page? Yes, they did. So next thing we're going to do is embed advanced settings, which is going to open up a new tab. And that's going to give you the URL of the post. You're going to go into the tool and you're going to go here. Caption it really quick, add it to your queue, and you see the post is scheduled at your optimum times, which I already covered. So what you've got here is you've got all of the post previews that are coming up that you can see uh, for everything that got a little bit of traction on your new page. Now when we're posting this, I want to be very clear on something. You can only invite people who have actually had a reaction to the page's post. So if somebody else has reactions on shares, that's not going to allow you to invite them uh, to your page. So it's very important that you try to encourage people to like your page as much as humanly possible. Okay, so once we've gone to Facebook and we've looked at the posts that have had a little bit of traction on our page and re-engaged those, this is what it's going to look like. So all of these are scheduled to go out. So we've got our four a day scheduled. Now what we need to do is finish scheduling content for the rest of the month. And we're going to be able to do this incredibly quickly, and I'm going to show you how. So within our tool, what we're going to do now is begin scheduling posts for the rest of the month. The way that I like to schedule these posts is based on the traction that they have with the current sites that they're posted on. So you simply put in some keywords up here, and then you click on the image button. With that, you simply find some really good images, and then you just write in your own caption. easy enough, right? So then you just simply hit add to queue and you're going to do this until we hit May 31. Now once we hit May 31, we're going to come back in, we're going to do a few other little tips and tricks, we're going to add some additional affiliate links in here and we're going to really drill down to like how we're going to start making money from this Facebook page. But there's a lot of work that has to be done on the back end. There's a lot of things you need to know with analytics and being able to use these items and, and really be able to find things that work. Fun tips with images. Everybody loves pugs, right? And what's better than a pug in a wine goblet? Well, we're going to ask our fans this. So we're going to say, caption this. And this is something that people are going to be a little bit more inclined to share because it's a little bit more interactive. So simply again, just add it to our queue and bing, boom, bam, we're done with that one. And then we just move on down the line. Now here's another really cool thing about this tool. If you go here and you search and or load a page, you can see a lot of things here that are very, very popular, right? So anything having to do with wine, it's going to pull up some of the best and most popular feeds. So what you can do here is load the content from that feed. And we're actually going to take an opportunity to seriously really put a lot of this on autopilot. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at some of the most popular posts from this page. And then we're going to add it to our queue. So you don't need to just limit yourself to, you know, looking for keyword pages. You can actually drill down really far and find things that have hit on other pages and reuse a lot of this content. And I'm going to show you how th this is actually going to get mixed up in a very, very beautiful mix um, as you're going here. But you can get a lot of, of leverage, especially when you're building a page and you're wanting to build a successful page by leveraging content that's you're seeing are hitting for large pages. Now, other thing I want you to note with this is you see how these large pages are even struggling with the algorithm. So it's not just you. Everybody across the board is struggling with it. So it's about finding content that works, not just finding pages that work.
Now, as we've gone through and scheduled different articles and recipes and photos and all kinds of really great content throughout the rest of the month, we're also going to take some videos. And this tool is so awesome because you can actually import videos direct from YouTube and make them organic to Facebook, which is so powerful because Facebook likes the organic videos a lot better than it likes the YouTube videos. So it's really going to help boost your popularity on your page because your videos will automatically get more views. So, you know, we looked here and we were kind of like, okay, well, let's see what's out there and maybe, you know, what's hitting a little bit on social. Um, you know, you can use different keywords for this. So it really just kind of depends on how well people sourced their own keywords when you're looking for content here. But, um, you know, it, it is some really good content that you can find, even if there's not a whole heck of a lot of shares yet. Now, there's other ways that we're going to do this. I'm going to show you how to do this with video as well, um, because it, it is very important. But I'm going to show you a couple quick tricks as this processes. And sometimes it can take a few minutes to process. But once you have a few videos, a few articles, maybe a few recipes, whatever's relevant to your page, right? Whatever's relevant to your audience, that's when we can go through do videos and then we're going to take it one step further. Then we're going to start using our affiliate links and we're going to put those into our queue as well. But based on what we've learned so far, we know that there's a specific way to do that that works a lot better than not. And we're going to get into that in just a minute. So another great way to see some things that have gotten some traction on Facebook is to look and say, okay, here's posts from my friends that did really well or, you know, posts from pages or anything like that. You can go and take all of those different items. One of the things I like to do is I like to look at photos. Um, and what you're going to do here is pretty much the same process as what you've done before. So what you're going to do is simply embed this post go to advanced settings once you've seen that it's gotten some traction and you know that it's worth it and this is just another way that you can go through and find relevant content relatively quickly so i mean this, this is a great way for you to find things that are working um that are popular and you know just kind of lets you go through each and every little item that is relevant to what you're searching for on Facebook and what's performing so it's allowing you to get a heck of a lot of leverage and it's also doing something else for you because when you're looking at these things and you're seeing what is hitting on Facebook and you're seeing what is popular on Facebook it's also going to show you and tell you what you need to focus on as you're posting different affiliate items on Facebook. That is what we're getting into next. So what we're going to do really quickly is a fun little recap of where we're at. So we have approximately 49 pending posts. We've taken an opportunity to go through posts for the entire rest of the month, even through June 2nd. So we have content for days and that's ultimately where you want to be. But you don't want too much of the same content circulating at the same time. So that's when this tool again comes in massively handy and is a huge time saver. So what we're going to do is we're going to shuffle all of these posts. And what you see it does here is it did it for us. It shuffled everything up. So now we've got different content going out still at the optimum times and it's not going to affect anything else. Now this is when we're going to start posting more content and utilizing our Amazon affiliate account to really begin leveraging a lot more of this information. So here's how we're going to do that. Okay, so now we are going to go into our Amazon Associates account. And this is actually pretty simple, right? So we're gonna go product linking and just hit product links. And that's gonna take us to exactly where we need to go. Then what we're going to do is search by category. Now what I like to do for these is go wine funny or wine novelty or something that has the biggest potential to be shared. Because remember, it's not always just about getting somebody to buy that exact product. 
It's about getting them to have that cookie installed. So the right way to do this, there's a right way to do this, and there's a wrong way to do this. What I was doing before was the wrong way. So I want to show you the right way to do this, okay? So the right way to do this is we've got these different things. And the nice thing about this is it's going to tell you the sales rank of everything that is on here. So if we look at, you know, Wine Funny, we can go average customer reviews, newest arrival, um, you know, we can say best selling wine. And then it's going to give us some suggestions here. So like what the best selling wines are. Now the caveat to that is Amazon does not pay commission <laughs> on wine sales, but that's okay. Um, you know, there's, there's other things that we can do. So we can look at best selling wine funny, and then we can see different, you know, sales ranks and different things that are out there. So, you know, there's, there's an option to do that here, but what we're going to do is we're going to schedule some posts uh, based on the right way to do it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy the image address. We're going to put that in here. Okay, and I'm going to show you what this looks like because this is going to be a repetitive process. You're going to do this over and over and over again for about, you know, 20 or 30 different affiliate products, but you're also going to be adding some things to your store um, after that, and that's going to be in the next module, but I want to show you what this looks like. So you're gonna do this because if you enter in the web page URL, I'm gonna show you why this was wrong before. If you go into get link, we're gonna shorten it here. Then we're gonna copy and paste. Now we're gonna break a rule. We're gonna post this now. Okay, so just so you can see what it looks like. So we posted it and it's thinking about it. So now we're gonna view that post and see what it looks like. Because people are going to be a lot more inclined to share it if it doesn't look like it's something that they have to buy on Amazon, if it just looks like it's something funny. So if they want to buy it, they can, but you're putting it elsewhere. So we're going to go here. Take a look at our post. And you see what it looks like when you do it like this? It's going to, it's automatically taking this link and it's putting it in here. So it's not looking, it looks like it's something that would be an ad or a sale. So people are not going to be as inclined to share this. So that's something we want to avoid. So we want to delete this and we want to do it a different way. Okay. So this is what it looks like when it's done right. Now the good news is you can make it look like it does, it's done right. The bad news is it's going to take some time. So what it's going to look like is exactly like this. What's going to happen is, you know, you're going to have your picture here, which is going to be the thing that people are going to be most inclined to share. And then you're going to have your affiliate link up here, okay, to where they can go purchase it. Now with this one, we did a couple other little tricky things. Um, we targeted it and we also put in a message to, you know, somebody can send our page a message about this or something else. So what we're going to do is we're going to start testing these items, okay, and, and we're going to schedule these manually. So it's a good thing that we wrote down the best times for us to post these things. And we're going to schedule several different posts from today, which is May 20th, okay, so we're going to do one a day. So we're going to schedule May 20th through May 31st. So what we have to do is go find 11 items on Amazon that we're going to schedule and I'm going to walk you through this. So the next one in our little series here is going to be this. So we're just simply going to right click on it. Then we're going to save the image into a folder that is specific to this page, right? And then we're going to go in and we're going to get our link. Okay. So then after that, we're going to go over to our Facebook page and we know that we scheduled one of these for today. Okay. We're going to schedule the next one for tomorrow at 6 p.m. And just to keep consistency, we're going to schedule each one for every day at 6 p.m. because we know that's one of our, our peak times, okay? 
So what we're going to do is we're going to add a photo. And we're going to add the photo we just put in here. Then we're going to say tag someone who needs this. Then we're going to use one of the hashtags that we learned from our tool, work quite well. And then you can add a button. People can reply directly to this post that also gives you another opportunity to invite more people to your page organically. And then you're going to choose the preferred audience for this post. So we're going to go with wine, beer, wine tasting, winery, wine and food matching, wine bar, whiskey, vodka, cocktail, I mean, there's, there's a bunch of different things you can do with this. I mean, The Simpsons would be great because you know that those people have a sense of humor. Movies, pizza, um, you know, it doesn't always have to be wine related for it to be successful. So what we're going to be doing with these is we're going to take some of these suggestions that Facebook has, right? And then we're going to say, okay, well, what else can we maybe put in here? We're going to just browse some different interests, um, you know, and we're already in beverages, but we can also look at, let's see here, we can look at cuisine. Um, you know, you want to target it kind of relevantly. So what I would probably do here is put in mommy because we know that there's some very popular pages that have to do with that so you can see these being added as I select them you can take very popular pages and different magazines as well so you can put these in here and then you're going to save that you can tag products from your shop in this photo as well. So, you know, let's say you wanted to tag a few additional products, maybe get yourself some leverage. That's where you would do that. So let's tag something that goes along with this, okay? So we tagged a shirt in it from our store. And now we're going to schedule this post. So what we're going to do is we're going to schedule it for tomorrow 5.58 p.m. sounds pretty gosh darn good to me because that's close to 6. So we're going to schedule it. And then we've got another scheduled post here. So we're going to do this over and over and over again. I'm going to do one more with you. And then I'm going to go through and schedule the rest of these posts for every day, 6 o'clock from the 20th through the 31st of May. So just to go through this with you guys one more time, we're going to add a photo. And then we're going to caption. We're going to add our affiliate link. We go to Amazon for that. We shorten our URL. We paste it here. We're going to add a button so people can message our page. I'm going to do some searches on wine. You see it's already giving us some good suggestions here. And again, not all of these have to be directly related to the product itself. It can be complimentary things um you know and definitely leveraging different magazines and different things that have large followings is a smart move when you're doing this because if people have already liked those pages then people are quite likely to see this in their feed and respond to it so after that we're just going to save then we're going to tag. We can, if we want, tag a product in this. I'm not going to. But then we know we scheduled one for tomorrow. 
So, and, and whatever helps you do this system is whatever helps you do this system. So, you know, I'm going to schedule it for the 22nd. So what I tend to do is I'll write down the numbers on a sheet of paper next to me. And then that way I know what days I need to schedule what for. So I'm just going to, you know, hit schedule and kapow. So this is what's going to help you get seen in the newsfeed, what's going to help you begin to leverage your Facebook page, both organically through your fans, get people to share this content, but also getting them to share your affiliate link, plus giving them the opportunity to message your page with each and every one of these affiliate posts that are going to go out during prime time every day from now until the end of the month.